Hello, my dear friends. Today we're going to talk about what is the contraindication for veneers. My name is Dr. Dmitry Gorbatov. I'm practicing holistic and cosmetic dentistry for the more than 30 years in uh, Hollywood, state of Florida, right on South Ocean Drive. So what's the contraindications for uh, veneers when we are not placing veneers? Um, number one. It is a tetracycline teeth. So tetracycline is antibiotic, which is, was taken by um, parents and then kids of those people got um, problem with the enamel. Enamel become dark. So basically the teeth could be in a color from light gray to dark gray to brown. So if the teeth got dark brown, dark, dark gray or even brownish colors or dark yellow color, we cannot place veneers because veneers are relatively thin. So and, and then translucent, and we use Emax uh, ceramic, which is pretty translucent because it, that's what gives you cosmetics. So it will not cover the darkness. And veneers, instead of looking wonderful white and sparkling, it's gonna look gray and unpredictable color. So second um, uh, type of patients we are very careful with the uh, with the veneers or not placing them at all is people who got very short teeth, severe attrition. Let's say they were grinding a lot, they were clenching a lot, the teeth are very short, and they're not planning to do full mouth reconstruction, which gives us ability to open up the mouth, put the crowns on the back, stabilize the bite, create the space for the front restoration, and then put the, put the veneers. So if they're not willing to do so, and just want the veneers, um, we cannot do this because uh, the problem is the teeth are too short. So retention of the veneer are very short and those teeth are clenched and grind and they put a lot of pressure on those veneers and over the time, the veneers start to debound, they start popping out. Not because the, something is done wrong, but because the teeth are too short and the retention is not enough for this kind of force they put on their teeth. So if somebody got short teeth, we basically do 360 degree full mouth, uh, full, um, full crowns because they're stronger, they take the pressure and, um, and they, they will not debunk, they will stay there. In other people, which we are very careful with placing veneers, people who got some um, uh, high acid inside of their mouth, high acidity of the saliva, which has come from their stomach. So basically those teeth, by the, by the time they reach like 40, 50 years old, sometimes 30 even, the teeth can completely dissolve on the lingual side. They're very thin, so there is nothing you can place. You cannot even touch them because it's so thin. Uh, because if you touch them, you put something on the front of those teeth, they basically, they will break. They will break because there is no enamel on the lingual side, it's all gone. So with those people, we give them other options how to restore them properly, but definitely not veneers. We, we can use crowns, uh, we can use um, sometimes uh, splinted crowns to make sure those teeth are strong. Um, and um, uh, those restorations uh, would last for 15, 20 years, not uh, one year if you place the veneer up there. Another case when we are very careful with placing veneers are periodontal problems. So if somebody comes with a periodontal problem, severe or moderate periodontal problem, we are very careful placing veneers on those people. First of all, they have to go for the uh, periodontal treatment, make sure the gums are healthy, so there is no inflammation, so we can place the proper margins, and they will see how stable those teeth are. So if the teeth are stable, we sometimes make a choice, go for the veneers or put the crowns on, but most of the time, like 90% of the time, we put the crowns on there because then we preserve the teeth around, we can splint them nicely, so they all they, they could be connected, not all of them, but maybe part of them, some connection on the right side, on the, on the right side, to make sure that all the teeth are stabilized. And those restorations are highly cosmetics, there's no, you, there's no difference in the, in the cosmetic, the way they look and uh, the way they feel between the crowns and veneer, of course. So in those cases, periodontal problem, we use crowns. If you have any of those situations, please call us. We are glad to help you out to pick up the rice restoration for you. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, and uh, thank you very much for your attention. Have a wonderful day.